Other yellow hat guy here, back with another video. And you can probably hear the music playing. That's Bounce Man stage from Mega Man 11. I got a, a good deal on that, and I'm checking that game out. Hopefully I can just steamroll through it. Mega Man games are tough. They, they are. But they got a newcomer mode on Mega Man 11, and it allows me to just kind of, you know, get through it at a, a, a nice lighthearted romp uh, of a pace. So... Uh, what I wanted to talk about, and maybe I should just remove the music for a second. Reggie Fieldsame, uh, love that guy. My body is ready. That's what a lot of internet memes say when you think of Reggie. Reggie was a guy who uh, his background was working for Pizza Hut, I believe. So somehow he got into video games. Don't know if he was an avid gamer beforehand. But it didn't really matter because Nintendo loved what I loved about him. His swagger, his confidence. He would get up there and say, I'm about kicking ass and taking names. Sorry if the language was rough, but I'm quoting him here. Stick with me. And he was, you know, a, a viable face in Nintendo. You had uh, Satoru Iwata, who uh, was uh, president at the time, and uh, enough people believed in Reggie Fieldsame to run, you know, the American division of Nintendo. And he would come out here and he would show up at E3 and some of these, you know, uh, big conventions and, you know, showcase what was coming up fresh from Nintendo. And uh, I believe he was a key component in getting people to give the Wii U a chance, even though, you know, it went on to sell gangbusters on its own. But he was confident enough to you know, assure you that this was going to work. And these things did. You know, Nintendo is pretty much strict within their own culture. You know, Japan uh, has their own way of doing things, and Nintendo is in, in its own microcosm. And to see a face like Reggie that looks similar to mine, uh, it was awesome. It was like, wow. You know, there's hope for anybody if they want to get in Nintendo's doors. Uh so there's, there's your black history fact for the month, if that's what you were looking for from this video. Uh, he's retiring. That's why we're talking about Reggie. Before I get into the, all the things I liked about and loved about him, he's retiring. Um, so it was kind of sudden. He's being followed by a guy named Doug Bowser. This is not something I'm making up. Yes, Bowser is a Nintendo villain from the Mario series. But... There's a guy named Doug Bowser who's going to follow in Reggie's footsteps, so no doubt Nintendo will be in good hands. But I think at this point, Reggie just was like, look, I'm kind of done, I'm tired, I wanted to spend more time with my uh, family, you know, his, his children, his uh, you know, wife and friends and all that stuff. So I can't really blame him, but never did I think he would step down before Miyamoto would, but who knows. So I'm happy for him, I'm still looking forward to Nintendo's future. Still miss his face. I wish he would have just stepped down instead of just retiring. You know, if he would have just still done some of these directs or showed up. But, you know, looking back, I can see that it shouldn't be too much of a surprise. You didn't see him as much in uh, a lot of Nintendo-style videos and things of that nature. So, uh, what do you guys think? Will you miss Reggie? Did you like Reggie? Leave your favorite Reggie moment in the comment. There may be a prize. There may not be. You just never know how that works out. But Reggie, I tip my cap to you. Uh, look forward into uh, what you may do next. Uh, wishing you nothing but the best ahead. Other yellow hat guy out.